Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what they don't tell you or what they don't talk about when they talk about freelancing as a web developer. I'm going to give you a reality check. I'm going to tell you what it's really like. Let's get started. <laughs> The first one, the first one, I feel like a lot of people start freelancing um, for the freedom, but reality check, you might end up working more hours than if you were working a regular nine to five. Why is that? Because a lot of the times or sometimes you end up pushing things when you're a freelancer, you say like, oh, that's easy or I'll get that done tomorrow, I'll get that done later. So you might end up working more hours than you expected. So it's not as much freedom as you thought. Reality check number two, you will, you will. This is a fact, you will end up doing unpaid work, especially if you're just starting to freelance. You have to reach out to companies, you have to reach out to people, you have to do a lot of marketing to put yourself out there to get those freelance jobs. And a lot of that is unpaid work. And even in the beginning when you get some of your first clients, you have to do some unpaid clients to build up your portfolio to get more clients. So there is unpaid work. I know a lot of people People are scared of doing unpaid work and I understand I get it it's difficult times we need money we need money to survive but you need to do maybe at least one or two to build up your portfolio especially if you're self-taught if you're a self-taught developer who didn't do the boot camp, boot camp route who didn't do like a prestigious online course then you're gonna have to do maybe one or two unpaid um, work for clients to build up your portfolio so that's number two reality check number three another a lot of people don't think about this one you need marketing skills like you need to have some type of marketing skills because you're gonna market yourself you have to market yourself when you're starting with um and freelancing as a web developer you're not gonna have a whole team you're not gonna have a marketing manager and an hr person and a secretary and all of, you're all of those positions you're the one doing all of that so you need to have marketing skills if you don't have at least a bit of marketing knowledge it's gonna be very difficult to get clients so you know look up a bit about marketing i did i looked up a bit of marketing thankfully my husband he is like so seo master and he knows a lot about marketing he has an, his own business so I had that leg up, but if you don't have that benefit, then having someone in your family who knows a little bit about marketing and SEO, then you need to do that for yourself. And then hand in hand with this one, number four, reality check, you need to have social skills and sales skills. You need to be a social person. You need to be able to, to work well with people because again, unlike um, web development agencies or big tech companies who have individuals that work directly with clients that are the social people that take care of the people people you know you have to be that person coming from a socially anxious introvert it's very difficult um, but you have to do it you have no option reality check number five is that you're always going to be learning and you always have to be learning um, especially as i mentioned in my previous video if you want to grow your client pool be able to get as many clients as possible be able to get the bigger clients you always have to be upping your skills if there's a new technology you have to learn it especially in web development yeah you need to learn html css and javascript but then you also need to learn all of those extra javascript libraries and frameworks because a lot of clients especially in freelancing always want like the new shiny thing um so whether that's react angular whatever new framework or css library you need to learn it you need to at least learn the basics to be able to say to a client you know what I have a basic knowledge of it but I can jump in and learn it fully to be able to complete this project for you so you have to have that initiative to always be learning and then the sixth reality check is that you're gonna be lonely it's a lonely job being a freelance web developer unless you um, freelance within an agency or you have your own agency if you have the money to start your own agency it's a lonely job like 
a lot of the time this is my office this is my company like there aren't other people working with me um so you are gonna be working alone and you're gonna be the one doing all of the tasks it's not easy but it is rewarding it is rewarding to build that up on your own but yeah it is a bit lonely but you know as you grow you can also grow your freelance company your freelance brand so um and those are the six reality checks the six things that people don't talk about when they talk about freelancing as a web developer let me know in the comments below if there are some i missed i'm pretty sure there's a lot that i have missed but let me know what are your thoughts on these and what are your thoughts on freelancing freelancing as a web developer are you a freelance web developer let me know in the comments i would love to, to chat and talk about it i hope this video was fun but helpful and a reality check <laughs> i'm not trying to scare anyone from freelancing as a web developer i think it's great i think it's a great avenue a great route into technology um, i have a recent video talking about how to start freelancing as a web developer check it out here if you are interested and thank you so much for coming back to my channel i will see you all in the next video bye Always takes too long, yeah too long I ain't got all weekend We had a good run, yeah a good run But the clock is ticking